Uh, so I am Dr. Vikram Rajguru. I am orthopedic surgeon. I am practicing in Pune. So basically, I am orthopedic surgeon, as I told you. But uh, my more practice has inclined towards the regenerative orthopedic medicine. Okay, basically, I am a joint replacement and orthoscopy surgeon. I do a lot of surgeries. But now I have more interest in regenerative uh, orthopedic interventions. So I am accompanied by Dr. Bhupendra Gupta. He is my lead physiotherapist. First of all, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Professor Karsten Noblock for his participation in this masterclass. So we really, really appreciate for your time and travel from the Germany to share your uh, knowledge and expertise here. So also I would like to thank to Arab team, uh, Shreya Mahesh for giving me opportunity to share my knowledge over this shockwave therapy. So I extend my warm welcome to all of you uh, delegates. So we are very thrilled to have such a wide uh, range of experts over here and uh, over the next few years you have an opportunity to learn from the master, to interact with each other and to make connections. So uh, don't miss this opportunity. I welcome all of you again. So let's start. So I have nothing to disclose. Okay. First of all, uh, see, I want to introduce the shockwave therapy machines. I prefer to call these machines as a weapon because these are very powerful and excellent tool to fight against the pain, both chronic and acute. You heard right, for both acute and chronic pain. See, the Storch Medical is a world leader. They have come up with this incredible technology, awesome engineering. It is like Mercedes Benz in a shockwave. But again, the success of any technology depends not only on the quality of technology, but also its service provider. Because see, a knowledgeable experience and a reliable service provider, he ensures that the technology can be used at its fullest potential to deliver the best possible results. So I extend my warm uh, gratitude uh, about the team Aero because they have very passionate, knowledgeable experience. And as per my requirement, I'm running three clinics successfully. As per my requirement, they provided me with this uh, carrying case. So I can fit all the tools inside that and this is uh, very easy to transport. And also uh, it's very difficult to miss any things uh, behind. Uh, they have provided me with this service trolleys as well. So I can be utilizing each and every of my clinics. So your uh, team Arabs hard work uh, uh, have not gone unnoticed. Okay, coming to the shockwave. So can you see this big machine? This big machine was used in 1980. That is almost 40 years ago. <laughs> What you were doing uh, 40 years ago, I was not born by that time. So this was big machine, which was a focus machine that was used to break the kidney stones to avoid surgery. The patient used to submerge. Sorry. Okay. The patient used to submerge into the water tub, and they used to treat the, uh, as I told you, the kidney stone. And the patient noticed that they are getting relief with their back pain. On the follow-up x-rays also, the doctors noticed that there is an increase in a bone density. So they thought that they, the shockwave is going to do with musculoskeletal conditions as well. Then they started using in the bone pathologies and later on to treat the tendinopathy successfully. Okay, this kind of machine they sent to the Atlanta to treat the 1996 summer Olympic uh, athletes and it was well appreciated by all the athletes. And in 1999 or 2000, uh, they have come with, with the first radial shockwave machine and these are the awesome latest uh, babies, I can say, uh, Stars Medical Focus and a radial shockwave machine. So just to brief about the shockwave machines, so there are two types of uh, machines like uh, uh, radial and a focus. You can see the radial, the more uh, this device generates the waves which are more concentrated at the tip. As we penetrate down, the energy is getting dissipated. So this is very good to treat the superficial area, wide areas, and uh, for the muscular kind of a. Areas more. Uh, you can see the focus. The
the more energy is concentrated at a point distance from the its source so this is something like a binocular uh, we used to uh, play the games during our childhood we used to hold the binocular one hand put a piece of paper and used to concentrate all the energy at that point and try to burn that paper okay this is the principle is similar to that and but in a more sophisticated way i can say so you can see the radial the the rays are divergent and the energy is getting dissipated but for the focus we can see this is target zone which is away from the uh, machine probe and uh, it has an excellent tool to treat the deep pathologies we can adjust the depth as well uh, once we come to the hands on uh, i will let you know what all these are the stand offs and how can uh, uh, differentiate about the treating structures and the which stand off to use everything so how does it work so in a simple term it accelerates the body's ability by supercharging the cell it has different mechanism i don't want to go into the details so it decreases the pain and inflammation it causes the new angiogenesis growth factor release actually it causes stem cell stimulation all effects are for the tissue regeneration so what areas does it treat it can treat literally from head to toe and every everything in between that so one what are the tissue areas we can come with the skin muscle the tendons ligaments nerves talking about the skin that it has wide use in a skin aesthetics in the europe they can reduce the appearance of wrinkles and then the cellulite and everything for the wound healing as well talking to the muscle that we can just forget about the needles dry needling this is an excellent tool to break down the all the muscle trigger points you can get the normal muscle structure and we can treat the muscle injuries as well coming to the tendinopathies and the ligament see the ligaments and tendons they have very precarious blood supply the normal healing of the ligaments or tendons to their normal strength and endurance is is very not possible on the physiotherapy we can strengthen the muscles but not for the ligaments and tendons <laughs> this shock wave therapy machine has a beautiful effects of new angiogenesis for the ligament and the tendon healing so <coughs> definitely we can treat the nerves as well carpal tunnel syndrome we can actually uh, release the sciatic nerve uh, with these machines with excellent results oh i love about the bone so tell me so which is the non surgical modality we can treat the bone pathologies i have not heard any kind of say see stop shop with the we can actually treat the bone pathologies just see about the non union or a delayed union we can treat those patients effectively we can avoid surgery then we have come up with the treating the osteonecrosis of hip after the covid evidence those patients have rise up like anything and we are the one of the first clinic in india we are successfully treating the cervical necrosis of hip we are literally having right now about 20 patients, 20 patients. Uh, which are getting good results as well we are documenting every evidence but it will take a time to publish so these are some of the contraindications yeah uh, we cannot use once uh, the patient has uh, taken this corticosteroid injection uh, with the implant we can use but we have to be more careful we cannot directly apply on the growth plate area with the organs with the gas content or directly on the heart uh, in a tumorous conditions or directly on the uh, brain or skull area and spine area <laughs> so few months back i had a question in my mind that why should i invest into this shock wave machine or why should i implement this into the see this is very competitive world so i want to stand out in this competitive healthcare market i want to attract more patients already uh, this has been used since many years we are uh, very late at the party but i was the first indian to join the party earliest so what what benefit i got i am a first mover so i started to create a niche in my practice so being the first uh, a person to join the party as i told you so i started uh, establishing myself as a regenerative expert i started creating my own <coughs> brand i started to slowly capture the market and uh, being the first mover as i told you so i, st uh, I started to set my uh, pricing standard as well because no one told not shrey Or Bruno, or Mahesh told that you have to keep this pricing only for that. 
So I am one of the first person. So I started my setting own pricing standard that is benefiting to my patients as well. So I started to have an additional revenue system for that. So it, it is an excellent tool to build my practice. I am not going to share the revenue numbers, but definitely uh, help me to uh, increase my practice. I think you should share, sir, so that we will be happy. <laughs> so, we can just... ah, so, on the round table, we can share. <laughs> so, thank you for your patience, listening.